All right, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lauren Reeves. I'm at the National Weather Service in Peachtree City, and I'll be doing this special weather briefing for Wednesday, February 12th at 1 p.m. All right, so today we're gonna focus mainly on our severe potential later this evening and into tomorrow and through the day tomorrow. Our main hazards are damaging wind gusts. There is a potential for some brief tornadoes, and we do have a flash flood watch in effect across portions of Northern Georgia, and that runs through Thursday afternoon. As we have already been seeing over the past at least week, two weeks or so, we will have some more periods of moderate to heavy rain possible, mainly over Northern Georgia. So the main impacts with this, fairly similar to what we have been seeing with the previous systems. We could have some winds that could down trees and power lines easier with the saturated soils that we have. So that'll be much easier than if we hadn't had so much rain over the past several days. In addition, we will have a continued flash flood threat mainly across Northern Georgia and a continued river flood threat across the entire area. Then after we get through later this evening into Thursday, we'll take a very, very quick look at Sunday through Monday and into early next week as we get our next chances for rain. So first and foremost, just want to show our current watches. Right now we have a flash flood watch in effect across much of Northern Georgia. And so that watch will go through 7 p.m. this evening through Thursday afternoon. So a little bit later on today. And very quickly, just wanted to do a quick hydro summary. On the left side here, you have a picture of the southeast and the river gauges across the southeast. If you see any of the orange, red, and purple colors, those are the gauges that we have that are in minor, moderate, or major flood across some other portions of the southeast. And if you look at the right-hand side, you can see a zoomed-in map of Georgia showing our river gauges. And as you can see, we do have several rivers that are in action stage, minor flood, and several in moderate flood. And so this is expected to continue considering river flooding lasts much longer than the flash flooding threat. So now we'll step into tonight, looking at our severe potential. Overall, the Storm Prediction Center, here's the convective outlook. In the Northwest, there is a slight risk. Then as we move a little bit further east, we have a marginal risk. So these are gonna be for some strong to severe storms. And most likely it's looking like a line of storms is expected to push into portions of northwestern Georgia later this evening, uh, pretty much in the overnight hours into early Tuesday. So that's going to be our timing very late tonight into Thursday. And our main threats there are going to be damaging winds. There is the potential for brief tornadoes. And with heavy rainfall expected, we will have some more flooding issues, most likely. Then as that line of storms continues to push south and east through the rest of the forecast area, there's a marginal risk over much of the rest of the area aside from northwestern Georgia. And so this is cont a continuous line, but they're split over two days because this will occur in the overnight into the early Thursday morning hours. So the timing looking at Thursday is going to be starting Thursday morning and getting into the afternoon as those storms push through the area. And the main threat is damaging winds. We do have a non-zero threat for tornadoes for Thursday, but it is looking most likely that the damaging winds will be the main threat. And we still will have some periods of heavy rainfall, but aside from the ongoing river flooding, we're not expecting much in the way of flash flooding. So now I just wanted to show a timing graphic for late tonight into tomorrow. So that line of strong to potentially severe storms looks to enter the northwest corner of the area around or maybe after 11 p.m. around through about 4 a.m. And then as that line pushes south and east, could impact portions of the metro and other portions of central Georgia from about 3 to 7 a.m. And then expecting after 7 a.m. for that line to be moving through the rest of the area. And then that'll be through the afternoon. So now here's one of our uh, local models that we have here in the office. And just to keep in mind, this is just a potential solution out of many for what the radar may look like later on this um, overnight and into tomorrow. So this starts at 7 p.m. this evening, and you can see that line starting to approach the area. And then this loop runs through about 9 p.m. Thursday. So although the highest severe threat's gonna be with the front leading edge of this line, we could still have some lingering showers out behind as that cold front is pushing through. So I'll let this loop a couple more times just so everyone can see the progression. All right, 
So taking a look at our threat levels and confidence, we've kind of talked about this already, um, but overall our main threats for late tonight and to early tomorrow across mainly northern and northwestern Georgia, those main threats are going to be damaging winds, the potential for rainfall, heavy rainfall and flooding, in addition to a brief tornado may be possible. And that is mainly across portions of northern and northwestern Georgia as that line starts to enter the area. As we take a look into Thursday, so across much of the rest of the area, as I mentioned before, the main threat will be damaging winds. And so you can see that on the threat scale on the left. Um, there is some potential for some times of moderate to heavy rainfall, but overall we're not looking at much of a flash flooding threat for tomorrow. And while the tornado threat is not zero, it is not as high as damaging winds. So now with the same event, if we take a look at the expected rainfall that we'll have through Thursday evening, if you look at the graphic on the left-hand side, if you look at the northern portions of the area, we're looking at about a half inch to an inch. And across far northern Georgia, especially in some of those higher elevations, we could see amounts of an inch to two inches with some locally higher amounts possible. So that's mainly over northern Georgia. And the heaviest period of rain is expected to be very early Thursday morning as that line comes through the area. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see another graphic. That's our day one excessive rainfall outlook. And we have a slight risk across portions of northern and northwestern Georgia for overnight tonight into early Thursday. Now switching gears just a little bit, after that system moves through, we should see some portions of the area dry, drying out on Friday, and then Saturday is expected to be dry as well. But then our next chances for rainfall look to be Sunday and continue through at least the first half of next week. Models have been very, very inconsistent bringing one singular system through the area. They're kind of all over the place. But the point is that we do have those chances for rain, most likely returning on Sunday and continuing through the first half of the week. In addition, there is some potential for some wintry weather across far northeastern Georgia early Sunday morning. And that um, A is very, very uncertain. Overall, it's been looking less likely for that to occur as we've been approaching that event. But there is still that very slight chance. But if anything changes, we'll definitely keep you all updated. All right, so just a quick look at the rest of the week. Um, up top, we have Blairsville, a seven day forecast. In the middle, we're looking at Atlanta. And then at the bottom, we're looking at Macon. So just taking a look at Blairsville, temperatures generally in the 50s today. And then as we have that cold front come through late tonight and into tomorrow, temperatures will cool down. So we'll get lows in the mid 20s. And then we'll have some highs pretty much in the 40s for Blairsville as we get into Friday and into the first part of the weekend. Then, as I mentioned, we do have that very slight chance for a wintry mix early Sunday across the far northeast. And so you can see that for Blairsville with low temperatures still in the 30. And then as we get into Monday and Tuesday, still have those chances for rain, although temperatures will warm back up to the 50s and 60s. For Atlanta, a fairly similar trend with temperatures in the 60s, but cooling down to the 40s and 50s after the front moves through and then warming back up as chances return again for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Pretty much the same thing for Macon as well, although just a little bit warmer than Atlanta was. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s, cooling down to the mid 50s when the front comes through and then increasing back up to the 60s and 70s for the first half of next week. Then taking a quick look at the six to 10 day outlook. So we're pretty much looking at next week. Overall, unfortunately, it still looks like we'll have um, above normal chances for precipitation and most likely above average temperatures as well. And you could kind of see that as we started to get to day seven in that seven day forecast, temperatures are warming back up pretty good. All right, now just a quick summary. Overall, we do have a potential for severe weather late this evening and into Thursday. We have a slight risk across portions of Northwestern Georgia with a marginal risk across much of the rest of the area as we get into the overnight hours and into Thursday. Our main hazards are going to be damaging wind gusts, brief tornadoes will be possible in addition to periods of moderate to heavy rain, which is why we have that flash flood watch in effect across North Georgia through Thursday afternoon. The main impacts of those hazards would be that winds could down trees and power lines even easier than normal with our extremely saturated soils. And this additional rainfall could pose an additional flash flood threat across northern Georgia and a continued river flood threat across the rest of the area. 
Then we could see some clearing on Friday and Saturday, but chances return again for rain on Sunday through the first half of next week with a very, very slight chance right now for a wintry mix across northeastern Georgia early Sunday morning.